Hey guys, Walter's World here, and we're in Bonn, uh, outside the Munster, the cool church behind me. Anyway, uh, so I'm here on a little trip to Germany, visiting some friends, some good people here, and basically what I wanted to give you is your list of the five things you're going to hate about coming to Germany and five things you're going to love about visiting Germany. Okay, and it works that way in most countries you go to. You're going to see things you love, you're going to see things you hate. Now, I've lived, I lived in Germany for about three years, okay, so there's, there's good and bad. All right, so before you come, I want to do the five things you're going to hate first, because that usually, you like to have the bad news out of the way first, okay? The first thing is, you're going to hate about Germany, or maybe not like too much, are the people, okay? They're cold, they're cheap, I mean, they like lots of money, but they're still cheap, okay? Also, they're very serious, all right? So if you like to joke around and stuff like that with random people you meet, they're usually not too fun, okay, like that. Now, that's just kind of if you don't know them, so they're kind of serious, so you might not like that. The second thing you're going to hate about Germany, and definitely this is the one that's super annoying, is you have to pay for the toilet, okay? You're going to take a piss, you want to go poop, whatever, you have to pay, all right? Sometimes there's a lady there, you, you pay, or there might be the machines, whatever, but you always have to pay for it, and it does get annoying because you always have to have coins with you to go to the bathroom, okay? So ladies, make sure you keep some 50-cent you know, coins with you so you can go to the bathroom. Guys, same thing, all right? Um, but however, saying that, the toilets are clean here, so it's very nice, all right? But you have to pay for it. The third thing that you're not going to like about Germany is it is expensive. Okay, if you compare it to a trip to Italy or Germany or Spain, or sorry, Italy or France or Spain or Portugal, coming to Germany is more expensive. Going out to eat, traveling around on the train, things like that, it is expensive. So if you're looking for a discount trip to uh, Germany, it doesn't really happen. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to hate about Germany is the service. They have horrible service here. It's not it's not horrible in the fact that they don't do a good job. It's horrible in the fact that they're not very nice to you. Okay. A typical example is you go to a restaurant and you ask for an, uh, you ask them, oh, do you have an English menu? And they'll say, yes, we have one, and they'll walk away. But they'll never bring you one back. You have to say, oh, can I have an English menu? Oh, yes, here you go. So it's very formal kind of stuff like that. So service is a little off. Okay. And the fifth thing you're going to hate about it is if you're traveling, of course, you want to do your shop and you want to see things. Sunday, everything is closed. Holiday, everything is closed except for the gas stations and things connected to a train station, okay? So if you want to get your shopping done, things like that, you need to get it done on Friday, because even some places, Saturdays are a little slow, but nowadays the laws have changed, so they can be open on Saturdays, but just know Sunday, you can't, I mean, you, if you need something, if you can't, if they don't sell it at a gas station, you're screwed, okay? So, those are the five things you're going to hate about your trip to Germany. Now, five things you're going to love about coming to Germany. The first thing, is it is clean and organized. Guys, I'm looking around here, I'm laying on the ground on a major square. And there's no dog poop, there's no trash anywhere. The place is clean and organized. And that is one thing you're going to love when you're here, because you know things work. Okay? And you... Hello there, big guy. It's my son. You like Germany, don't you? <laughs> exactly. Okay? So the first thing, clean and organized. See, I'm not worried about my son running around, you know, having a pretty problem, because it is clean. He's not going to fall on anything or, you know, holes in the ground, stuff like that. Now, the second thing that you're going to love about Germany. Now, I said the people you might not like, but the thing is, once you get to know them, Germans are great. Once you make a friend of a German, they're going to be here for your friends forever. Like this crazy guy back here. <laughs> yeah, she got crazy kids everywhere. Okay, go, Caleb. Now, so you got crazy kids everywhere t stealing stuff, you know, so it was safe until the little kids start stealing things, all right? Not the young. Anyway, second thing I love about Germany is once you get to know a German, they're going to be a friend for life. I'm here in Bonn, okay, visiting two of my best buddies, Mitch and Valentin, the, the crazy fighting guys here in the back. Okay, now why would you come to a random city if you didn't really care about somebody? They're great people, not just my friends, but Germans in general. Once you make a friend with them, they're a friend forever. So try to meet Germans when you're here because they are actually are good people once you get to know them, okay? The third thing you're going to love about coming to Germany is the public transport. Guys, it goes everywhere. You want to go to some little town, there's a bus that goes there. Some little village, there's a train that goes there. Often. It's not like, oh, well, there's one train a day to this town. No. It's all the time. Okay? And you're going to love it. If the U.S., we had public transport like this, it would be amazing. Trains, buses, everything. Trams, it's great. Okay? And that's one thing you're going to love. Next thing you're going to love about Germany it's the history stuff, the museums, the castles, the palaces, okay? When you look at Disney and their Disney castles, those are modeled after German castles, okay? And you go around Germany, you're going to see so many Burg Elves, 
uh, noise from sign, they're all over the place. All right? And also, it's not just the castles, the museums. They have amazing museums here. Berlin, Munich, Cologne. Guys, anywhere you go, you're going to see some really amazing museums. Okay? And also, the, the, land, uh, the Landschaft, <laughs> the countryside, things like that. You don't think of Germany as having beautiful countryside. But there are a lot of beautiful places you can go. Okay? The, the, the seas, the lakes, all kinds of stuff. Very cool stuff to check out. All right? Now, the last thing, the fifth thing you're going to love about when you come to Germany, well, it's the beer and the festivals that go with it. Okay? You got your Oktoberfest, but there's so many more things than just Oktoberfest. That's just two weeks. It starts in September, not in October. It ends the first weekend in October, guys, okay? But the festival, I mean, there's wine festivals, there's chocolate festivals, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm sure there's whiny baby festivals. They have all kinds of great things to do. Carnival here in Bonn and Cologne is amazing. Carnival like Mardi Gras. It is so cool. People dress up, everyone's having a great time. Okay, and it's one of the great things to do. So if you're planning your trip to Germany, try to get a, car, or try to get a festival in there or something like that, because it is really cool. Now I'm going to go deal with these crazy German people that you love and hate. So um, I hope you have a great trip to Germany. It is a great place. I love living here for three years. And um, I wish you guys all the best. And here comes the crazy